was this mission 100% successful in terms of the science? I would have to say no. It was 1,000% successful. <laughs> we achieved all of our science objectives. We do, in fact, have a comparison of the deep impact area, and it, in fact, does show an impact crater. It's about 150 meters across and has a small central mound in the center. It looks as if, from the impact, the stuff went up and came back down. You can barely see this, but there's a little lit, lit area on that side and a dark area on the other, and that's the central mound where we think the material came down. Comets, unlike any other body in the solar system, are unique because when they're in the inner part of the solar system where the Earth is, they're literally coming apart and sending tons and tons of gas and rocks and dust out in space. This spacecraft, Stardust, uh, went through this cloud of dust and rocks coming off the comet. We have instruments on the front of the spacecraft called a dust flux monitor instrument, and they have sensors to detect these impacts. A good analogy of thinking of, of a, like a B-17 in World War II flying through flak. That's it. I have a message for any school kids out there who might be wondering how NASA can send a spacecraft billions of miles through the solar system and somehow wind up flying so close to a tiny comet only a few kilometers in diameter. It's done with math. <laughs>